everyone, this is Jamie from Jamie's Hooked. Um, excuse me. I'm doing a uh, tutorial on how to work with this uh, Sundance Chic Frill. Um, this actually is an item I believe that is being discontinued. Uh, right now you can purchase it uh, from Hirschner's uh, for 99 cents, I believe. Um, I don't recall if how many more colorways that they have left of this. When I purchased these a while back, there was only one snow leopard and then this, this hot pink leopard, which is so totally cute. They're both excellently cute. Anyway, um, so I was going to show you a uh, tutorial on how to work with these, ah, here we go, these fabric, these fabric yarns. Um, so if you ever get the opportunity to work with or purchase uh, similar yarns then you'll have an idea of what to do okay so let me show you what it looks like so this one is the snow leopard color and I just kinda wanna show you basically it's it's a real thin uh, piece of uh, fabric ribbon fabric and as you can see it's kind of scalloped so it's got a scallop edging which makes it really nice and now you can see right here my skin is peeking through it's got these holes there's all, they're just punched right through because sometimes you'll see a little bit of the the hanging chad <laughs> that you can um, you'll find it on occasion still hanging off of the uh, the ribbon all right, so I'm going to show you how to work with it. It does not say on the wrapper what size hook to use, does it? Stitching is here. Blah 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 blah. Doesn't really give a suggestion as per what size, but I'm just using a. Uh, an H crochet hook. Um, now because you have this this edge right here, this has been trimmed, what you want to do is you can fold this over like this about three times and that's going to cover up that cut edge. Okay, so you're going to insert your hook into the hole right here. Now you can do this a couple different ways. Um, what I like to do is, I mean, I've done it both ways. It depends on how uh, compact uh, that you want your ruffle to be. Because this is going to make a nice, nice ruffle. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just do uh, crochet into every hole on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn, caught the hook into the next hole. I'm just going to pass it through right there. So you're going to have, trying to get a right angle here. Hold on, that didn't work out. So we're going to go one, two, three. Insert your hook into the hole. Insert your hook into the next hole. And then you're going to bring your hook in through the other, for that other hole, like that. There we go. All right, and then you're going to do this. Grab it through the next hole. Insert hook into this hole. Catch it. Pull through that hole. Insert hook into hole, pass it through, insert hook into hole, single crochet. I mean, it's basically a bunch of slip stitches. I mean, really, it's all you're doing. Just a whole bunch of slip stitches. And that makes a really, just a really loose ruffle right there. Now, if you wanted a more compact ruffle, and I've done it as much as, say, 10 loops on my hook 
but I'm just going to show you five. Okay, so remember we're just going to double over so we can um, hide that cut edge just in case it looks a little ragged or something. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the reason why I do six is because as you're working with it, you're still going to have one hook, one hook, one loop left on your on your hook. This is terrible. Let me adjust my light here. Here we go. Low light, low light. Here we go. Here we are. All right. Now you can try to bunch it all up and make it and pass it through all one at one time. If you are lucky enough to do that, I have a difficulty doing that. So what I do is I just kind of pass that top loop into and underneath the uh, next loop. And I just keep going down the line. And you can do this, you know, whatever size hook that you feel comfortable using. If you feel like a big hook would be good for you, then you use a big hook. If you feel like you're, um, you know, if you feel like you need to go through with a thinner hook, go for it. Just wherever feels comfortable in your hands is really what you need to work with. So there, you know, we got a little bit more of a more compact ruffle working right there. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four, five, six. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass it through, basically slip stitching. Ah, oh, there we go. Slip stitch all the way through. And you can already tell it's already starting to get a really more compact ruffle. I'm going to do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so here we go. Slip stitch right on through. There we go. See, that's really starting to come along. I mean, you can even probably just do a few slip stitches and just attach it to a barrette. Like, you know, fasten it off, you know, maybe sew it. You could probably sew it down, make it into a, like a barrette, hair scrunchie, whatever, you know, definitely. Really, just really, a really great, you know, avenue for so many cute little creative things. So not that darling? Yeah, I like it. Anyways, and just, you know, I've made a, uh, a scarf out of these once. When it first came out, um, I used the uh, Red Heart Boutique um, fabric is what it used, used to be called, and they had something real similar to this. And I made a scarf for a friend and, you know, I figured it looked really, really cute, made with maybe like a t-shirt or something. I don't know. It was really fun. It was fun to make. It was unique. All right. So, I did make a swatch out of this for, to show how it looks like added to a piece of crocheted work. Look at that. Isn't that darling? I really like it on this pink. This is the, uh, I think it's Lion Brand Hometown called in Denali. And I actually picked this up for like a dollar. They had it on sale like almost a year ago for a dollar. And I picked up like, I don't know, like 10 skeins of it or something. So, yeah, but it works really, really good. I, as you can see with this really bright pink, it's a nice uh, pink color. It This Snow Leopard really shows up really, really well. It's really a great contrasting color. 
That's what it looks like from the back. So it doesn't really look too bad from the back. I like this would be a cute diaper cover. Can you imagine a little baby girl with a little pink diaper cover and this, you know, snow leopard ruffle on, on the back side? That'd be too cute. Too cute. Oh, that'd make a cute jumper. Oh, yes, a little baby romper. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to show you how I add this. Oh, you know what? I think I have this on the wrong side. Yeah. Let me... Let me crochet just a little bit more. Okay. Alright, I did crochet another row so I can crochet on the right side. Um, and I, I just, cor I need to correct myself because um, this yarn, this pink yarn, is actually, I just remembered, I was looking at it again, and I remembered that this is the um, yarn, uh, no, this is I Love This Yarn, Stone Wash in Coral. And, um, yeah, so it's got a slight stone wash kind of look to it, but it's so cute. I mean, really, it's the perfect color to go with this. Snow Leopard. Anyways, let me show you how to work with this. So I went ahead and chain three to get ready to turn. And let me find my the end. So I'm just going to crochet into every one of these. And I'm going to I'm going to double up my piece here. I I guess you can triple it too. I guess maybe tripling it would be better. So I'm going to triple up, triple fold over my end here, okay? And this is going to be the same concept as just maybe like a regular double crochet. I'm going to yarn over, then I'm going to insert the, fa uh, the chic frill onto my hook. And now I'm going to, hold on. I've got too many yarns working at one time. Okay. I'm going to insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over, and then I'm going to pull through the stitch and the uh, chic frill, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops to complete your double crochet. I'm going to do it one more time. Yarn over. Now I am going to go into this hook, this hole here. Okay, and now I'm going to insert my hook into stitch, yarn over, pull through stitch and chic frill loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Where's my end? Where did it go? There it is. All right. One more time. Okay, yarn over and put yarn. I mean, put chic frill on hook. Find stitch. Insert stitch. Yarn over. Pull through stitch and. Chic frill, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops to complete double crochet. So let's do this a couple more times so you can just kind of get the concept down here. So I already yarned over, chic frill on hook, insert into stitch. Sorry, kind of running off here. Okay, uh, yarn over, pull through stitch and chic frill. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Already yarned over, chic frill on hook. Insert hook into stitch, yarn over, pull through stitch and chic frill, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there we go. Look at that. did not look darling. That is darling. Isn't that cute? Can you imagine a little baby diaper butt just kind of going, <laughs> that'd be so cute.
Alright, so this is the third thing that I want, um, well this is the second thing I wanted to show you. There's a third thing um, that I was going to show you as well. And, let me see, I can find it real fast. What did I do with it? Okay, so I had made, uh-oh, did I lose it? There it is. Oh. I dropped it. Okay. I made a topper for my hat. So I basically what I did is that low battery. Am I still recording? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting a low battery. Okay, so I had just basically just bunched up through and then I put a crochet hook through all the holes and then I took a crocheted strand, tied it on there. Actually this is where I actually had tied the yarn first and then I crocheted each strand after I tied it in there but I think it would have been better if I had just crocheted and then fit the whole strand through there instead. And it came out really fluffy. I just gave it a good shake. Turned out really good. So I'm going to put it in this um, hat I made a long time ago. And just for aesthetics, just to show you what it would look like. These don't necessarily match, and that's okay. Because we're just doing this just to show you what it would look like. So I'm going through the top hole of this hat that I made. And I'm just going to tie it. Well, I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so just got a nice little bow. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. It's different. You know, everyone's got these fur pom-poms. I mean, this is a ribbon pom-pom. So cute. It's different. I like it. Too bad this stuff is being discontinued. Really. Anyway, so I really do hope that this was informative. I hope you um, enjoyed it. Um, if you are lucky enough to get hold of uh, these types of products, I mean, this, you know, really, it's got so many possibilities. I mean, you can just go meet so many different little avenues with it. Uh, so please... Um, like and subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, uh, maybe I'll be able to, you know, do some more um, tutorials. And you know, I also do yarn hauls, craft hauls. Um, I'm looking into doing, hopefully, in the future, to do some some macrame. And uh, I'm going to try my hand at knitting. I've got loom knit. I got you know learn how to loom knit and um, all that other kind of stuff. I want to do regular knitting, you know, just all kinds of things. So, and paper crafting. I like to do paper crafting. Um, I want to break into that as well. So anyway, just please uh, like and subscribe. I have a Facebook page and I also have Instagram and Twitter. I haven't quite done anything too much with the Instagram and the Twitter, but I have them. So please like me there. Please follow me there. Alright, well thank you so much. Y'all have a great day.